Jagalu, das Musikmagazin. Und jetzt habe ich wieder einen Gast von aus ganz, ganz weiter Ferne. Das heißt eigentlich aus weiter Ferne. Grand Candy from New Zealand, Hallo. but now living in Berlin. Wie geht es dir? Uh, alles super. Und du? Ja, mir ist ein bisschen kalt. Du hast keine Socken und mich friert es. You got no idea what I was talking nee, about. Nee, ich komme aus Neuseeland. Ich bin, uh, uh, ich, ich war da, also war da ein Flipflop? Trage. Trage Flipflop. Ja, jeden Tag. <lacht> ja. Jeden Tag, egal welche Temperatur? Oh, that was fast, that was schnell. Uh, no, no matter what temperature is outside. Yeah, uh, well, in in the in the winter, yeah, I'm I'm not that not that not that strong. <lacht> I wear shoes in the winter. Ja, ihr da draußen, wenn ihr im vergangenen Sommer ähm, alle Farben gehört habt, All She Moves, der, der große, große Hit irgendwie, dann wisst ihr, woher, woher die Stimme kam, nämlich von, von Graham. How did it work with alle Farben last year? Um, uh, it was amazing. It was, uh, we, we went on tour uh, a lot around um, uh, Europe. It was a fantastic, fantastic DJ. It was such a, a lot of fun and um, we are really fortunate to be a part of his uh, album. Uh, Synthesia. Uh, I got that actually from um, a band member of Abby. Oh, he was doing the guitar uh, for the track and uh, he said, you should hear this singer. He's uh, fresh off the boat. Uh, so that's how we, how we met. Yeah. And that's the reason why the guys from Abby are producing your album or uh, produce, no, they, they produce your EP, right? Holding uh, up yeah, balloons. And my, my first uh, album. Uh, they were my first friend. Freund. Point. Yeah, they, my first uh, friends I met um, through Crazy Panda Records, and um, yeah, it was they've they've been helping me uh, um, with kind of electronic music, with producing, with songwriting, and also with um, hooking me up with lovely people like Ella Farben. Cool. So, what what brought you to Berlin? Well, was it just like, well, you got a cheap ticket and um, fly over? Or? You can't see him, but he's, he's standing right there. Um, he was sitting in my bar that I was running in New Zealand. And um, I, at this time, um, I was just playing covers music like Amy Winehouse and Duffy and stuff. And um, he said uh, and I asked, do I want to come to Berlin to start a music career? And at this time, I said, oh, no, 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 I, I can't be a musician. I'm not, not a songwriter so much. But um, we bumped into each other in a bar. We got absolutely smashed and we became best friends after this. And uh, I came over and he, um, yeah, that's the reason I'm in Berlin. He's from uh, Crazy Panic Records. They um, work a lot with New Zealand artists. Uh, so it was a really easy uh, mix because he knows our culture very well. I know, you know, and he kind of taught me some German culture pretty easy. How, how, how long is it ago? Like a couple of it's, years? Yes, yeah, it's Anjara Zen Monat. So, so pretty fresh, so to say. Yeah, so, so and, and what's about your songwriting um, qualities or um, experiences? I mean, you are working on, on your album right now, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, um, I, I'm still quite a baby in, in the whole music world. Um, so uh, with BMG's help and Crazy Panda Records, they fast forward me to, to get my songwriting up to play. So I've worked with amazing people. Um, Uh, like Sacha Skarbek, who works with Miley Cyrus, did Wrecking Ball, uh, with Andy Shetterly, Narina Pallets, um, and with a guy called Tim Woodcock, who did like Eliza Doolittle and Delta Goodrum, some amazing, lovely people. Um, so they've helped me kind of fast forward the process of songwriting to get me up to a good standard for my album. Um, but for me, uh, I needed help with the music, and I am all about the lyrics. I love, love writing lyrics. So yeah, I just needed more help with producing. <laughs> so what, what was it back in, in New Zealand when you, when you started making music? Was it playing the guitar at the age of, I don't know, 12 or something? Or? No, I picked up a guitar first um, in my last year of school. I was 17 um, for a competition called Play It Strange. And they, um, they, it's a songwriting competition in New Zealand. And I picked up the guitar first to write a song for my girlfriend. And... Um, It's got seventh on the competition, and this man who runs at Mike Chun uh, pu ha has pushed me ever since that day. Uh, but unfortunately, at that time, I wanted to be an actor, I wanted to be a dancer, and so um, I went more concentrated on that, and it wasn't until Berlin that I came back to music. Don't you feel any, any pressure nowadays? Because, I mean, all the, the names you mentioned who are helping you with, the, with your album, yeah. I mean, it's a lot of respect the, the label or BMG is putting on on you, yeah. right? 
Absolutely. I think they, um, uh, for me, it's, they've kind of given me a goal and a drive. These, you know, sitting down with such amazing people, um, even working with bands like Ala Fab and Part of Stella, have really, uh, for me, someone who's a starting out musician just pushes me so much. And, um, and I want to reach that goal. And so for me, it's been incredible uh, people to work with. They've become mentors for me and also um, like a goal. So it's really, really fortunate for that. So in, in which way can the audience or will the audience be, um, can be, um, what is it then? Let me think. Um, in which way does your songs reflect that you are living in Berlin right now? Uh, well, it's, it's kind of funny. This album we're writing uh, coming up, it's kind of... Um, two sides in a, in a sense. It's got my whole, you know, my history, my summer New Zealand vibe, very chilled, very laid back. Then there's also this dark electronic -y life that I've had in Berlin. You know, there's been, you know, I've come to a, uh, a country, I don't know anyone so much. And so, you know, there's all these lonely moments. There's these really fresh, honest moments where, you know, I've been, uh, you know, gone to the party or I've been, you know, broke on this, you know, uh, you know, uh, eating potatoes but Matthias has been helping me out lots with that but no it's I think there's these two sides so definitely um in my album coming up there's this very electronic -y, you know house kind of deep house but alternative stuff that's Berlin but then there's also the beach side of New Zealand yeah do you, do you miss the beach side oh yeah definitely uh it's it's kind of a sacrifice obviously when I talk to some uh, some Germans And they say, where are you from? And he say, New Zealand. They're like, why are you here? Why did you leave, you know, the beautiful country? But for me, uh, it's funny in New Zealand if you say um, what, what I've experienced when I came back for a visit. And someone said, what do you do? You say, um, I'm a musician. And they said, yeah, but, but what do you do? <laughs> and, and so it's like, it's, it's not really, uh, I don't know. For, for here it's like respected. It's, it's also like... Um, What do, you, what do you call it? It's, it's um, oh man, what's that word? I'm losing my English slowly. It's, uh, I've got none, so. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just seen as, as something important here a lot more. I mean, New Zealand loves music, but um, it's still kind of behind in the days for me. That's what I've experienced. It's probably just because my father, but. <laughs> I had Brooke Fraser, Fraser, Fraser here yeah. the, the other no day. Way. Do you know her? Yeah, I'm a big fan of Brooke Fraser. Massive fan of her. She's super lovely. We actually, like, when I used to go to church as, uh, as a teenager, um, we were in the, the same church at one point. But, um, yeah, I never never met her yet, and I hope one day I get to. But, yeah. but do you know the guys of Zed? That was a band, like, yeah. like <laughs> five or six years ago, yeah. or even more, I, I can remember. So yeah. Also yeah. from New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. So the scene in, in the music scene in New Zealand is not so big, I guess. No, no. I mean, uh, I would say it's growing drastically fast with people like uh, Fat Freddy Strop, Lord, Kimbra, Brutes. It's it's growing pretty rapidly fast now. I guess because of this whole, you know, we've got internet now, you can get discovered much more easier. Uh, and little old New Zealand is so, you know, out of the world. But um, yeah, it still is quite small. So everyone usually knows each other. Uh, you know, from the same town as someone like Lord, we're from the same town. Uh, and Kimbra, we did the same competition, Play It Strange. She was Play It Strange as well. So it's always interconnected. And I'm so proud that some of the folks in New Zealand now knew my little music show here, Yagaloo. Yeah. I even had a passenger here, Michael. Yeah, wow. He was here like two years ago, three years ago. Man, that's awesome. So, pretty nice. Well, um, talking about your, your electronic side, are, are you a club goer here? Are you... Often out, uh, out on the on the dance floor. You would have seen me on my first year when I came here. I I went for it. I um, you know wanted to discover the whole electronic scene. Uh, I had some time off at this time, and uh, so I guess I got really into the clubs. Uh, I love like Sissy first, Filder and Arta Kalta Holtzik, which was open at that time, um, and I loved it. It was a great energy. It's such a different vibe. It's so family orientated. You don't see fights. You don't see, you know, guys hitting on girls and slapping their bums. It's so different. It's like just about the vibe and losing yourself. I love this. But uh, unfortunately now I can't do it so much because uh, I've got my head down and, you know. Working, working, working. working. But, it's, but, you know, I've, I'm happy that I experienced it. I know it. And uh, hopefully I get a few more chances to go back this year, which would be cool. Have you got any, any favorite dishes meanwhile? So like, dishes. I don't know, yeah, like currywurst or uh, are you the, the, schn the schnitzel guy? or uh, schnitzel, yeah. Uh, von Wascherstraße. Do you know what the name is called? 
Schere? 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 Und die Mustafa Kebab Dinner. Ah, oh, this is so good. This is my favorite, yeah. Und die Nuantri Pizza in uh, Golitza. Golitza Park, yeah. But have you been to, to Wansi or Mügelsee, meanwhile? Yeah, yeah Wansi, um, just on the, on the weekend. Uh, let's do fucking end Is that right? Yep. Yeah. So I went to just to, to Wansi and to, we went to Potsdam, Schlachtensee. I always went to Schlachtensee. It was one of my favorite lakes. But I've just been to the Mügelsee yesterday. This is awesome as well. Beautiful lakes in Berlin. Especially if, if the weather is fine, it's perfect. Oh, Absolutely. So, so, and not your, not only your album is coming up this this fall. It's you're going on tour. What yeah. what will it be like? Do you set up a band together or? I've got two lovely German band members. One's called Danny, uh, the Thunderbird Skinner. He's on the drums, and Johannes Magic Fingers. He's on the keyboards. Um, we've now just started our, um, our rehearsals. We've got our first show uh, this week um, f with uh, Radio Brocken. Uh, is it Radio Brocken? Yeah. And then uh, next week, Music Shots Beat is our first festival. So, uh, yeah, we've got our band. Uh, we, we've, we've got our, our whole show now come together. Then we do our album tour in October, our Plan A uh, album tour. So we're doing, I think, 18 shows in October. And uh, yeah, super lovely people, super lovely band. So really, really excited for our first show. No, no bass player, player so far. No, we've um, we've got uh, our Magic Fingers. He's doing electronic key, bass, oh. keyboard, and piano. Uh, yeah, so he's 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 doing this the whole show, but it's cool. He's good. Cool. Okay, I would say that's enough talking with my shitty English here. Ich hasse es, nämlich irgendwie. Oh, shit, no, I, I, ich hasse es total. Und dann spielen wir jetzt noch eine Runde, okay? Let's play a little uh, Yagalu quiz here. Graham Candy by Yagalu. Woo. 